guys like it? Perry, you like it too? And we'll show you how to make your own. Yep. There's our other fountain we made a while back. So if you guys want to know how we made this, we'll put a link in the description. I saw this $1,200 restoration hardware concrete side table that I really liked. I figured I could make something similar with the supplies I already had, but I thought it'd be neat to turn it into a DIY water feature as well. Here are the supplies you will need. One, you will need a plant sulcer. Um, then you'll need some wire mesh, a pet screen wire mesh, plug wire, and then a half inch half inch PVC pipe. PVC pipe. Uh, a bucket. Five gallon bucket. Five gallon bucket. Uh, two things. Yeah, those PVC pipes, I believe they're like three or four inches. Well, that is our solar pump. That's solar. probably the most important thing that we'll need. We'll need some solar pumps. Just one. Solar pump. <laughs> Safety stuff. Safety gear for sure. Um, hot glue. Uh-huh, hot glue gun. Locks. Not sure how many we'll need yet. Cut off tool. Cut off tool. Yeah. All right. Don't worry. We'll put the links. Of oh, don't forget. We need concrete. Okay. So the first step is to cut four inches uh, off of this PV PVS pipe. <laughs> PVC pipe. PVC pipe. All right. There we go. Good job. Eye protection. <laughs> Your hair is tied back. Yeah. Let me see. Yep. And then. Good. There you go. For a quarter, halfway through. Now you have to hold the handle. There you go. There you go. <laughs> a little bit more. Yes! You did it. Alright, so we're gonna put this like that. We're gonna glue it onto there, okay? Good job. High five. It's not perfect. It doesn't all. have to be perfect at all. Alright, so you're gonna put the tape on here. Did you get the tape, Song? I'm just gonna put this on here to hold it down. And then. Just take that tape and we can wrap it around to hold it in place. I use these PVC pipes to create an opening where I could pass the fountain hose through. You could always use a single PVC pipe in the center but I used three so I didn't need to use as much concrete and it's definitely a lot lighter. So, you wanna grab that pipe, Sloan? This one? Uh-huh. And we're gonna place it right in the center. Perfect. And that's gonna be where the tube can come out of. Have you used a hot glue gun before? No. I, have, I haven't either. I know mom has. Stay there. Good. See how it's all sealed there? Is it hot? It is. We'll, uh... So we'll let it dry. Work. Yeah, but let, let it dry a little bit and then do a little bit more, okay? Uh, that way it's nice and stable because when we pour concrete on there, it's going to be it? pretty rough. Just going to spread it around everywhere, okay? Got it. Oh, it smells so good. Well, it's oil. Oh, yeah. Rub it all around. We're trying to get it slick. Slick? What's slick? Slippery. And next, we're gonna do the bucket. Okay. Right here. Oh, 
The plant saucer took a full 90 pound bag of quickrete, but the five gallon bucket only required about half or three quarters of the bag. trowel just going to push the top down so i'm just going to kind of okay by the way if you are a kid and you're doing this and your adults not there make sure to an to wait for an adult and Always if, ask an adult. Because some things could happen, and you might have to go to the doctor for it. Well, no. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I have a joke. Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. I don't get it. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight. Count seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. Yeah, now I get it. Wait, try not to whack it off. All right, so here's the next afternoon. Looks like everything's dried up pretty well, and. Dollars on our scooter. So I made a mistake here. I tried to get fancy and decided to grind the top layer, hoping to expose some aggregate, but the concrete wasn't cured, so it didn't go as planned. This is four days after the initial pour. You'll thank yourself for oiling the form because you'll see how easily the concrete comes out. I thought it was going to be a lot harder to get the concrete out of the five gallon bucket, but it's actually pretty simple if you just gently tap the bucket on the floor, the weight of the concrete and uh, gently tapping the bucket on the floor, it really did the trick for me. All right, so I'm kind of messed up. I wanted to create a little bit of texture, so I hosed it down and sanded it, but I don't really like how this turned out, so no problem, what we're gonna do is take some of the cement all and put it on top of here. Are you ready Sloan? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> hope this works. Okay, now that the concrete is done, now it's time to seal it. We are going to use Quickrete Concrete and Masonry High Gloss Sealer. Alright, so let's go ahead and pour some Stop. of that into that cup. Uh oh. That's good. Alright. And then you're just going to brush it on there. On here? Yes, everywhere. This dog's so 
Good. Did you use that on that, um, on our, that fireplace? Ping pong table and fireplace? Yeah, I sure did. This is gonna look so cool. It is. How are, how are we gonna, like, make water splash in there? You'll see. The wire mesh is 32 by 27 inches. Yes, and we have two of them. And we have two of them. And the hole, the actual hole that we dug is 27 inches by 28 inches. All right, so next step is we're gonna take this level and you guys are gonna get in the dirt or close to it and we're gonna actually move this around so it's Nice and flat. All right, so we have some extra, I don't know what you'd call this rubber hose that we had from our pool pump. No, it's not being used, so I'm just gonna actually use this to line the bottom again as well, where the cinder block sit. And we're gonna go around the wire mesh on the outside just to give it a little extra protection. Let's go ahead and unbox the solar panel. Okay. This water fountain pump, I we wanted one that's more powerful. The other fountains that we made, they were um, six watts, which was sufficient. But this one, I think we needed a little bit more power. It's gonna be a little bit taller. So we have these stands here, which we might use to hang the solar panel. And then the solar panel's already face, facing down. That's the actual pump, which Gray's gonna open. I like these pumps though, because they disconnect. <laughs> yep. All right, so we have some, these, you know what this is for, Gray? Yeah. It's a filter, it's a foam filter, so if you get dirt, leaves, debris in there, it'll catch it, protect the pump. This pump is also nice, because it has dry run protection, so if you run out of water, we are actually gonna run a drift line to that as well, but if it does run dry, these pumps are not affected. They won't burn out. And that's the other reason we wanted this one. Not only is it 12 watts, super powerful, but see how long that cable is? The other one that we had was pretty short. We have that fountain over there, uh, which is still going strong. But I think, Gray, I think you're really gonna like this new one. It's yeah, gonna be super, super, super amazing. Yeah, I bet I will. All right, so this is just gonna go in the bottom of that pole that we just made. Mm -hmm. And that tubing is gonna attach to the top here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just connect it to the panel. And we'll watch it go. Oh, the other thing that's nice about this, you see that dial? you can turn it to adjust the pumping strength. So sometimes you need more, more water. If it's too strong, you could turn it down. Is that nice? Yes. All right. Nice. Okay, wanna grab that pipe or the hose? Fish? Yep. And I want you to connect that to here. Just squeeze it on. Huh? Yep, and then we we're gonna guide that past that through the base of that 
concrete fountain we built. <laughs> Sound good? Oh, so the water's gonna like, it's gonna like go in there? Yes. It's gonna come out of there, it's gonna fall off the table, drip down, and we're gonna have a very peaceful yard. And then, and then it's gonna keep going? It just keeps going. <laughs> like yeah, you don't use any plugs, no outlets, and the water just recirculates. Pretty neat? I do recommend zip tying this tube because it's actually it's pretty loose and it falls off pretty easily. So I'm just gonna take one of these. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and cut a small hole for the tube. All right, so one thing I did that I also recommend is you can see we added some zip ties just to kind of keep the mesh and this silicone in place. So now we're gonna be ready to turn on the pump, but before I set this up together, we'll go ahead and see how much power is coming through there. Woo! Whoa, that's good. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that power. All right, go ahead and flip it back over, buddy. That was perfect, Gray. Okay, I'm really excited to see how this turns out. How's the waterfall going? Uh, it's pretty good, if you ask me. Mom, look at how the waterfall. Oh! <laughs> I actually ended up turning the power down a few notches just because it was kind of shooting everywhere. Okay, now that's going, we have to add the rock, all right? So today we're gonna be using that black lava rock, um, which is fine. This is, it's not gonna fall through here, this mesh, but if you wanna use something like this, which we might in the future, we're not sure, some pea gravel, you do have we bought this Pfeiffer pet screen and you can see it's pretty fine so the gravel won't fall through there but it's enough for water to pass through but we'll we'll try we'll try the lava rock first and see how that goes So this is how the base should sit. Basically it's like having the five gallon bucket upside down. We really loved how it turned out. It's really amazing how peaceful and relaxing having a water feature could be. We hope we inspired you to get out there and make your own. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and leave a comment down below.